Come in. Ah, Stedman. I take it the cargo reached its destination safely? Yes, sir. We rendezvoused with the Slacko and planted the eggs as instructed. And if you don't mind me asking, what was the point of this mission? Call it a backup plan. From the information you retrieved from the Slacko, it seems our colleague, Mr. Burt, was unsuccessful, as I thought he would be. Having the military with him was unavoidable, but I imagine it hampered his efforts somewhat, hence why I sent you along. Now we have the eggs you delivered to the lab, I'd like to see what happens in a less controlled but still isolated environment. I understand, sir. And the other eggs have been delivered safely? Yes, sir, they've been delivered six hours ago. I take it we've seen to security? Yes, sir. We have a marine presence, as usual. They don't know the nature of the delivery, of course, and we do have safety protocols in place should anything happen. Yes, having ties with the military does have its uses, although I would prefer to have our own security there, of course. Indeed, sir. But like you said, the best place to hide something like that is right under their noses. The first batch of specimens are fully developed now, Professor Farnsworth. And the second batch are uh, nearing full term. We should begin the next phase. Indeed. Uh, get the freezing process underway and keep me updated. Yes, ma'am. What temperature is the... Uh This is RED01, requesting docking clearance. Roger, RED01. You have permission to dock. Welcome back. Yeah, it's good to be here. Everyone buckled in back there, we're going in. We're fine, Harris. Just bring us in gently for a change, yeah? Yeah, Harris. Stop sucking cheeks and concentrate for once. Roger that. Rough landing it is. Charge here! Who are you? What the hell do you think you're doing? We're taking control of this facility and the specimens you have. I want to know who's in charge. I can't just take over, you idiot. This is a highly contained environment. One false move! Now, which one of you is going to tell me how we can move these creatures? What's happening, Professor?
Where's Geordie? He's in the shower, Sarge. Geordie! Get out here now! Come on, let's go! What about the shampoo, Sarge? Just get your gear together, we're heading now. Come on, move! What's up, Sarge? It's probably nothing, we've just got a report from one of the waiting labs. We need to go. Great. Another false alarm. What is it this time? Someone's stuck their toes? Just get your gear together, Geordie. And someone get me some armour. Get on the red line, Marines. Move. Fall in. All right, Harris. Are we good to go? Everybody, move out. Come on, Marines. Move. Take your places, Marines. Gardner, get in your seat. Okay, people, strap yourselves in. Keep your heads inside. Take a look at all times. Flight, this is RED01, requesting clearance for departure. This is Flight, you have clearance to depart. Stay within the designated tunnel until you are clear of the station. Roger, Flight. Like I need to be told that every single time. Stand by, cross locking now. Pre launch auto cycle engaged. Confirm cross lock and drop station secure. Affirmative, all drop stations are secured. Stand by to initiate release sequencer. On my mark. Five. One. Mark. Switch to DCS ranging. We're in the pipe, five by five. You know you don't have to spare all that crap, Harris. Well, I'm just being professional. What's up, Sarge? Are you sure this is the only armour you can find, Spencer? Yeah, sorry, Sarge. It's the only spare available. It's uh, one of Hudson, but he's away at the moment, so I figured he wouldn't need it. Yeah. I've heard he's got some juicy mission, rescuing Colin's daughters. He gets out in four weeks as well. I wish I was in his place right now. Oh, tell me about it. So what happened to Armour anyway, Sarge? Do you remember that last Dianaria one down in Arcturus? Murphy! Yeah. Let's just concentrate on the mission at hand, shall we? Fantastic. <coughs> Murphy! <laughs> Alright, Harris. ETA. Landing pads in view now. 20 seconds. OK, remember, we're going to be out of contact whilst we're inside. Just keep the engines warm. We won't be long. Right, gear up, people. Ten seconds. Down and clear. Hey, Gardner, take point. Move inside.
Okay, let's get to the control room. Spencer, use your tracker. Hey, Sarge, getting a signal. Which direction? Uh, it's uh, four meters straight ahead. Take point. Okay. Hey, Geordie, Gardner, watch our ears. Murphy, move up. It's coming from in there. You sure? All right, get the door, Murphy, get ready. Okay. No! No, please! No, let me Stop. go! Right, calm down. No, Shut no, up! No, 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 no. Come on, right, what's happened here? <laughs> Marriott, tell me what's happened. They're all dead, every one of them. Just calm down and tell me exactly what's happened. Who's dead? <laughs> Not staying here. I've got what they did last night. You've got a grip like a fucking girl, Spencer. Yes, Sarge. Get after her then. Yes, Sarge. Catch us up. Yes, Sarge. Right, everyone else, let's move out. Like it went off in here. Jordy, check that body. She's dead, Sarge. Ah, oh, fuck me. Half his face is missing. That's great, Mappy. Just get on the terminal and tell me what you can find out. Oh, man, half this guy's brain's on here. Well, what do you want me to do? Call the maid service? Just get on it. Sarge. Spencer, have you found our man yet? Yes, Sarge, but she's backed into a corner and she's refusing to move. We'll convince her then. Just get down here. Yes, Sarge. Look, love, we can do this the hard way if we really want to, but I can't really be asked right now. So what say we just... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> found anything, Murphy? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, looks like a delivery was made. Some sort of life form retrieved from LV426. Wasn't that where the Solarco was heading out to? I don't know. Just tell me what else it says. Uh, right. They brought something back. Some sort of uh, xenomorph and they've been studying it. Wouldn't they have to clear that with ICC quarantine, though? Yeah, not to mention us. Is there anything else on what happened here, though? <sighs> not really, Sarge. Uh, seems like the whole place has gone into lockdown. Looks like wherever they were at down there's out. Probably explains why this guy's brain's all over this keyboard. Right, everyone get ready to move out. Spencer, don't bother coming back to the control room. Just get back to the drop ship and check in. We'll send a data stream up to you. Spencer! Jesus Christ. Right, Geordie, Gardner, check out where the fuck Spencer is and then get back to the drop ship. Yes, Sarge. OK, Murphy, you and me are heading down to the containment area. We need to check the survivors and then we're getting the fuck out of here. Can we just do the getting out of here part? Just move your ass, Corporal. Sir, we have a situation at the facility. It's gone into lockdown and the Marines have gone in. What? How did this happen? 
I don't know, sir. The lockdown protocol would only have happened if containment had been breached. If this is the case, then we need to move fast. If things get out, we'll all be screwed. What are our options? We could send another team in and regain control, but if we lost that team, by the time we made another move, more Marines would be in there, and we'd have no chance of getting the specimens out. And there's something else, sir. Yes. I've received a report that there's been some sort of problem on the Salako. An emergency signal was received, and it seems that the surviving crew have all been jettisoned in the EEV. Do we know where they are now? No, sir, but I have teams looking for them. <sighs> that doesn't leave us many options. We can't risk the site on Earth being investigated, and we need viable specimens. OK, do it. Send in another team, but make sure they know what they're doing. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ, do you reckon he's dead? I don't know. It's a lot of blood. No body. He could be all right. Uh, Sarge. Go ahead. We found Spencer's weapon and a whole load of blood. What's going on, Sarge? Not our gardener. Just get some support. Right, OK, Sarge. What was that? What? Behind you! No! Fall back! Fall back! Gardener, what's happening? Gardener. Geordie, sound off. Fuck me. Let's get back to the control room and download the data. Then we're getting the hell out of here. We'll find the others on the way out. Move. That's what you won't care, you are! should I know? Gardner. Geordie. Shit. Hey, who is that? This is the Marines. I'm ordering you to put down your weapon and step out. Fuck you! Arsehole. Alright, Murphy, we haven't got time for this. I need you to poke your head out and draw his fire. Okay, just poke your helmet up then. Who the hell is that? Trio tech. Fuckers must have been after whatever it is they're screwing around with down here. Still, dead now. Let's move. Stedman. Yes, sir. Change your plan. Wipe out the whole facility. But I've already sent the team in, sir. Then you better move fast. You have the data that's been collected so far. We can continue your experiment elsewhere. Just see that there's no trace of this operation remains. Yes, sir. Now that's weird. I've got movement in the cargo area. 
It's probably just a faulty sensor. I'll check it out then. Murphy, get on that terminal. Download as much information as you can. Uh, Sarge? What? Someone's logged into the system remotely. Who is it? I um, don't know. It's just a user number, but they're accessing critical systems. Dave, the emergency destruct system is now activated. Jesus Christ, they're gonna blow up the whole fucking place with us in it. And now we're getting the fuck out of it. All the exits are sealed, Sarge. We can't raid the dropship, we're fucked. Just move, Murphy. that way. situation has been resolved, sir. It's fine, Stedman. Thank you. 